Okay, guys. I'm not real sure what's going on with this bird. I don't really want to mess with it because I don't want it to, like, not be able to fly or something. <laughs> so, um, I haven't showed you the garden in a while, um, mainly because it's been raining for 40 days and 40 nights. <laughs> not really. It's a, it's a joke. So anyway, it just not a very good one. You, if you don't know the story of it raining for a long time and, you know, a super flood and God sends a rainbow for, you know, just message me and I'll explain it to you. Anyway, so when I come to check the garden, I have to put on rain boots because you guys know we have clay. It is like I'm sinking to where my boots don't want to come out of the mud. So I won't tell you guys a whole lot. I won't show you a whole lot, but I'll show you a little bit and tell you that, you know, my garden's kind of thriving. I don't understand it. It's got to be divine intervention. I've been praying over this garden, y'all. So I'm going to show it to you. Okay. Yes, there's lots of grass. We've decided this part is going to, we're going to let it go back to grass. We're going to put the chickens on it. Let them. It's called permaculture. You guys need to look it up. It's an awesome way to get back to nature. Basically, the way that old people did it, you know, not, I say old people. They're not, probably not here any longer it's just natural and getting the chickens to fertilize it and till it and do the work for you so you don't have to and we'll show you that process when it comes time for that but you guys know i planted these two rows again peppers and then um tomatoes yes there's lots of grass i can't do anything about that right now it's not going to do anything but pull up big huge clogs of dirt so I have to wait until it dries out and come get my push-pull hoe. I just put that video up, and I'm going to put this one up. It's going to be a short one. But I wanted to let you guys know the, like, after the rain video. We did put this garden at a slope. So down there, you see the puddles? It's because it goes downhill. We did that for that purpose because we knew this ground soaks up. But... We have tomatoes and some peppers coming in. I know you can't see that in the midst of all that because they're tiny. But I just gave up on it, basically. I was like, I'm just going to have to get, you know, because I wanted these different kinds of tomatoes that you can't get anywhere around here. But we'll see what grows. Okay, my squashes are doing pretty good. I don't have very many, obviously. But they're doing pretty good. You can't see from the grass. These are... Um, beans they're doing wonderful cucumbers they're doing fabulous all of them are doing great some of them have flowers on them i'm sure they won't do anything um this year this is okra my okra from my seeds from last year it's doing pretty good too so i'm excited about that okay i planted the sweet potatoes you guys see it's getting new growth on it awesome wonderful that's i'm sure weeds and a little bit of basil Look at the basil, y'all. It's completely amazing to me. There's some more basil, and I planted some tomatoes in here. There's a little bitty sprout right there. So apparently, if you're planting from seed, tomato takes forever. There's loofah. It's coming up great. And I can't wait to see that. All the rest of it is pretty much the same. Um, Here's the other thing of sweet potatoes. Uh, not sweet potatoes. Blue potatoes I planted. Getting new growth on it. I wanted to show y'all something. Do you see that? <laughs> so I was walking through here and I was like, oh my gosh, that's a water hose. It's not a snake. But it kind of looks that way if you look good enough. Or if you don't look good enough. So here's the mound where I planted the rest of the blue potatoes. And watermelon and cantaloupe. Watermelon, I don't see anything coming up yet. But cantaloupe, I know you can't really see... But there's some sprigs of cantaloupe coming up. I'm pumped about that. Real excited. And around there, the blue potatoes have stuff coming up in it. Super excited about that too. Okay, in a minute star mess. This is a work in progress, guys, and this is real life. I know my yard. This is not what you typically see. But you know what? We're real here. This is how we live. So, okay. Look at all these peppers coming up. Like, all of the ones that I planted here are coming up. This is, this is, that's a giant weed. 
this is um the apple cucumbers they're shaped like apples this is cucumelon they're coming up too that's some kind of green that has sprouted these are all tomatoes so excited this one and that one's a little they're struggling a little bit nothing's coming up but that's all right but look at that is that grass or is that tomatoes huh I guess we'll see but I wanted to update you guys on that to update you so that I could show you after the rain real quick video like probably not even five minutes um it's doing so good after all this rain and I had bought all that I bought some fertilizer specifically for like nitrogen deficiencies like organic stuff and I'm hoping that we're gonna be good for right now it's gonna do better than we thought I'll show you the um onions and stuff too my electrician husband has run a extension cord out to my chickens for a fan because it's mississippi heat and chickens don't really thrive in a whole lot of heat but yeah this is what he's done you know onions all right there those long sprigs and all the rest of that green is garlic so guys i hope you enjoyed this quick update i hope you guys are planting something even in a bucket because you can see it works. So I hope you guys have a great day. Subscribe to our channel. Share the link. And we'll talk to you next time.